What is an autotroph? An autotroph is an organism that can produce its own food using light, water, carbon dioxide, or other chemicals. Because autotrophs produce their own food, they are sometimes called producers. Plants are the most familiar type of autotroph, but there are many different kinds of autotrophic organisms. Algae, which live in water and whose larger forms are known as seaweed, is autotrophic. Phytoplankton, tiny organisms that live in the ocean, are autotrophs. Some types of bacteria are autotrophs. Most autotrophs use a process called photosynthesis to make their food. In photosynthesis, autotrophs use energy from the sun to convert water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air into a nutrient called glucose. Glucose is a type of sugar. The glucose gives plants energy. Plants also use glucose to make cellulose, a substance they use to grow and build cell walls. All plants with green leaves, from the tiniest mosses to towering fir trees, synthesize, or create, their own food through photosynthesis. Algae, phytoplankton, and some bacteria also perform photosynthesis. Autotrophs in the food chain To explain a food chain, a description of which organisms eat which other organisms in the wild, scientists group organisms into trophic, or nutritional, levels. There are three trophic levels. Because autotrophs do not consume other organisms, they are the first trophic level. Autotrophs are eaten by herbivores, organisms that consume plants. Herbivores are the second trophic level. Carnivores, creatures that eat meat, and omnivores, creatures that eat all types of organisms, are the third trophic level. Herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores are all consumers, they consume nutrients rather than making their own. Herbivores are primary consumers. Carnivores and omnivores are secondary consumers. All food chains start with some type of autotroph, producer. For example, autotrophs such as grasses grow in the Rocky Mountains. Mule deer herbivores, primary consumers, which feed on the autotrophic grasses. Carnivores, secondary consumers, such as mountain lions hunt and consume the deer. In hydrothermal vents, the food chain's producer is autotrophic bacteria. Primary consumers such as snails and mussels consume the autotrophs. Carnivores such as octopus consume the snails and mussels. An increase in the number of autotrophs will usually lead to an increase in the number of animals that eat them. However, a decrease in the number and variety of autotrophs in an area can devastate the entire food chain. If a wooded area burns in a forest fire or is cleared to build a shopping mall, herbivores such as rabbits can no longer find food. Some of the rabbits may move to a better habitat, and some may die. Without the rabbits, foxes and other meat eaters that feed on them also lose their food source. They, too, must move to survive.